a while back I did a fight between CM Punk and Kurt Angle at the height of their careers. People immediately started asking for The Rock and Shawn Michaels, which of course would be an actually tremendous match that we've never got to see. I decided to go a slightly different route. You know, Kevin Nash has to say that he is the greatest big man of all time. I will say he's in you know, the top ten of best big men, not the greatest big man of all time. So I decided what would happen if he in his prime took on Andre the Giant in his prime. Now like most of my videos I do a, a combination of abilities and whoever has the most at the end ends up being the winner. This is different for professional wrestling. So I have strength, speed, endurance, that's your stamina, toughness, then the technical abilities where I've got striking, grappling, submission, high flying, and then the overall psychology which would be, are you over with the crowd? Your ring, the overall ring psychology and your mic work. There's a lot of aspects. So, Kevin Nash or Diesel or The Outsider or I think he was Oz, Vinny Vegas. So he's had a lot of different personas. But he's always been pretty much a, a big man in wrestling. If you've seen him nowadays, you'll know him as the guy who is super controversial because he doesn't want to wrestle anymore and if you watched him the last couple times in his career in the E he was the guy who was known for getting tagged into a tag match against the Dudleys and blowing out his quad this here on one side on the other side you have Andre the Giant one of the true huge big men in this industry you know and once he retired he went on to film multiple movie roles because he was an absolute massive man to see. You know, he was a true sports spectacle. And when he got slammed by Hulk Hogan, it is still one of the most defining moments of Hulkamania. So, what if these two were to square off both in their primes? First off, strength. While Kevin Nash is a strong guy, the overall strength that you saw from Out of the Giant was insane. So strength goes to Andre. Speed. You'll probably never ever hear this, but in this match, Kevin Nash is faster. Endurance. Andre the Giant was normally never known for his cardio. So, and this one, ironically again, Kevin Nash has an endurance advantage. How tough is this guy? Most people had a hard time trying to knock out of the giant down. Once you got him down, you had an easier time with him because he was very slow. Kevin Nash gets knocked out a lot easier. So the overall toughness and how much of a beating they can take, it ends up going to honor the giant. And here are the technical skills. So we have striking. It is hard to match the overall striking ability that you saw in Otter the Giant. When Otter the Giant would do a slap on somebody, since he had fingers the size of eggs, it was ridiculous. Even though you're comparing, you know, elbows and knees that you see from that you actually see from somebody like <clears throat> someone Kevin Nash, the amount of sheer brutality in his strikes, it, it goes to Otter the Giant. Grappling. This one again, I'll give down to the giant. This would be like, we're gonna see body slams. There's no suplexes here. This is going to be, it's gonna be body slams. And I do not picture Kevin Nash being able to lift onto the giant off the mat. Hogan was able to kind of do it, but Nash is gonna up a lot higher. And the center of gravity that that you saw on somebody like him was very bizarre. I mean, Andre the Giant was massive. He was a lot bigger than Paul White the Big Show. And when Kevin Nash took on Paul White, he wasn't able to do a lot of his moves on him, just given the overall size. So I'm giving the, the grappling advantage to Andre the Giant. Submissions. Yeah, these two guys really weren't known for their 
you know, their catch style of wrestling. High flying. Again, they're they're not luchadors. As awesome as it would be to see a six one nine by somebody like Andre the Giant, he would never be able to do it. And I don't think we're gonna see Kevin Ash kicking a shooting star anytime soon. Now we're down to ring psychology. First part of this, first part of this is over with the crowd. Kevin Nash at his height was he was over with the crowd. I would probably say was he more over than Andre at his height? Mm. I don't say Kevin Nash at his height was probably more over than Andre the Giant. Now we're looking at ring psychology. I'll be honest. Andre the Giant was a ridiculously imposing force in that ring. There was, there was nobody who was bigger and more intimidating. The only person probably more intimidating than Andre the Giant in the ring is probably The Undertaker. Now we're down to the last thing, mic work. One of the things that always kind of hurt Andre the Giant is that he was French. He had a very heavy accent. He didn't, couldn't speak certain English words. Kevin asked, except for the while, and he said, you know, this is where the big boys play, huh? Look at the noun, play. Beyond that botch, which of course is the intro to Botchermania, he's had very solid mic work up until recently. You know, during his height, he was killer on the mic. So if these two guys were to actually fight, I think it's going to it'll be a decently long match, but I think over time, you're going to see Otter sort of get worn down but he's got so much more physical abilities and strength that sooner or later he will overwhelm Kevin Nash. 